I'm Michael Wayne. Welcome to Trigger Talk. Welcome to the great gathering of the tribe. Right here on the wild steps of Las Vegas. Welcome to SHOT 2023. I wanted to take a stop by the Ruger booth just to take a look at this. It's an AR. I know you've seen them before. They're pretty rare. Nobody in America owns them. That's why they're always trying to buy them. They're secret guns. But in any case, this is an upgrade on the Ruger AR-556. And the big upgrade, as you can see right here on the barrel, that is a proof carbon fiber barrel. I'm not going to say they're the best barrels in the world, but I will say they're not chopped liver. You also see another couple of other upgrades that you'll be looking for. This is a rifle link gas system on it. Magpul light adjustable stock. So what you have here is a balance between just that everyday average AR that you're carrying around and a more precision oriented rifle. I guess you could almost say like a designated marksman rifle. You're not going all the way over into precision, but on the other hand, this gun is going to deliver some accuracy that will be pretty impressive for an AR. It's impressive enough that I'm going to buy my own because I would like to see exactly what it will do. So Ruger is always ahead and secondly, you gotta love something with red accents, right? I wanted to show you this gun, the Baby Rock 310 because it's got a 3.10 inch barrel this one's in 9mm. This is something I was talking to Martin Twasson about for several years. When he came out with the first Baby Rock 45, I said, man, that's really cool, but it would be a lot cooler in 9mm. And interestingly enough, you see the concealed carry market moving to more capacity or single action guns because basically it's easier to shoot them with their wonderful single action triggers. So this one stock 10 rounds, but there are a lot of magazines that fit this platform. In fact, I think I have magazines at 15, 17, 18, maybe even 22, 23. But it's an excellent little gun. It's an excellent addition to its big brother in 45 ACP. And it's one that I think a lot of people could see turning into a carry gun. I wanted to show you the Smith & Wesson m and in 5.7 by 2.8. Now that's really interesting. We'll probably talk a lot more about this gun. I'll get an evaluation unit and then we'll go through it then. But the reason I wanted to point it out here now is this makes the third major manufacturer to commit to 5.7 by 2.8. Now if you remember, FN came out with the 5.7 by 2.8 for the P90 submachine gun and then for the FN 5.7 pistol. 20 years ago, you know, it's, a, it's a certified NATO cartridge. A lot of people thought, though, that that cartridge was doomed to die. And then in 2019, just before the world ended, Ruger introduced their own 5.7 pistol. It shocked a lot of us, and we thought, well, this is going to be a renaissance for the 5.7 cartridge. Unfortunately, COVID shot a giant hole in that. But, but COVID is over, no matter what they say. Look around the SHOT Show. Nobody's wearing a mask. So this year, Smith & Wesson came out with a 5.7 by 2.8 pistol. Their own magazine, steel magazines, 22 plus one of 5.7 by 2.8. So now you have FN 
doing their at 5.7 pistols. You have Ruger with the 5.7 pistol and the hugely successful 5.7 carbine based on that pistol. You have Smith & Wesson with the M&P 5.7 by 2A, and you have PSA with the inexpensive Dagger pistol and 5.7 by 2A. I think it's safe to say at this point that 5.7 by 2A has established itself as a viable self-defense cartridge, and it's going to be around a long time with this much hardware to cover it. So we'll have more when we shoot this gun, and one thing I can guarantee you, this puppy will be loud. You know that I've been a fan of Stag Arms for a long time, for 20 years. They build an exceptional AR product. Well, coming soon, very soon, they're building an exceptional bolt action product. This is their pursuit line. It will be available in 65 Creedmoor and 308, and then really quickly right after that, uh, 65 PRC. There's a lot of things about this that really stand out. I mean, this is obviously the year of the precision rifle. One of the things I like is Stag has it set up to easily remove the stock on the rifle. You can replace it with a skeletalized stock, a different stock. Everything is modular. One of the things that you see here all the time is that the future is modular. This particular one has an amazingly good Kemney trigger in it. The other thing is the barrel setup is user replacement. If you have a barrel wrench, you're able to change the barrel on these. All in all, this is a very impressive package. And it's an impressive package that, like everything else with Stag Arm, comes at a competitive price. And this is essentially a prototype. Got a couple other prototypes here. But Trigger will be traveling all the way up to Cheyenne, Wyoming to go through the Stag factory and to talk a lot more about this gun and some of the other projects at Stag. This week's Triggered is brought to you by Arms Corps, Rock Island Armory. What's your passion? Taurus, USA. Always ready, always bring it. Stoger, everyday tough. SDS Imports, Tesis. Tesis means quality. Hunters HD Gold. They change so you don't have to. And MTM Case Guard, quality shooting sports accessories. So Ken, tell me why this new Gunsight Glock service pistol is important for Gunsight for Glock. You know, Jeff Cooper always said, a robust, reliable, affordable fighting man's pistol. That's what we need. Well, that's what this is. And, you know, we've heard the things where, oh, we're the Southwest Dinosaur League, you've not evolved. <laughs> Oddly enough, those folks haven't come to Gunsight, have they? No, they have not. They don't they know not. what we do. So, a, a Gunsight Glock service pistol is a fighting man's gun. It's that uh, Model 19 top end, 17 bottom end, a pistol-mounted optic. They're not the future. They're right now. They are. They are. They are. So you can drop that in a duty holster. You can drop that in your everyday carry holster, whether it's on duty, off duty, uh, a man or woman at home, and it will serve you well. So this fits the criteria we want at gun sight as to a fighting gun. And I think that truly Colonel Cooper never was as dogmatic sometimes no. as people gave him credit for. I, one of the few times I spoke to him about Glocks, he had nothing but good to say. It wasn't his pistol, but he goes, it's a fighting pistol. It, again, they work. That's the point. They work. And he liked it better than the crunching tickers <laughs> that they had. That's what I showed up with. My first time at Gunsight was a was a Smith 645. That was my duty gun, and I got right caliber, wrong gun, and that intimidated the daylights out of me. <laughs> but these things, you know, we've got a long history with Glock. In 2011, we taught three. 250 pistol classes for Glock celebrating their 25th anniversary. So this is, Glock's not new with us. Um, we're selling more 9mm ammunition in student packages, three or four to one to the next caliber, which is 45. So that's that's prevalent. Uh, and then uh, striker fired guns have been a, a high high volume in our classes as well. So we're just being relevant, we're being current, and we're staying in where you've got a gun you can fight with. 
how does somebody get one of these guns they can fight with? I already have mine, so I'm cool with it. So. I got mine too. <laughs> so we have ours. Here's There's how two you different can get ways yours. to get them. We partnered with Davidson's, Glock, Holosun to, to make this happen. So you can see your local Davidson's dealer or you can contact the Gunsight Pro Shop and the guns from the Gunsight Pro Shop have got a special backplate and we call it the Retro Raven. It's the flying bird and the, and the, and the word Gunsight. That way you can say, oh, yours came from someplace. Mine came from the Gunsight Pro Shop. <laughs> As always, Ken. Oh, my pleasure. Great to talk to you. I look forward you to seeing you at, at least in May, maybe sooner. That's right. You know what I say. When are you coming to Gunsight? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it for this show, kids. I wish that instead of talking about it, I could take all of you with me to the SHOT Show here because it is an overpowering experience. My job is to go through and look at things that I think are interesting, I think I, I knew, but there's still tons and tons of things that show you the diversity and the depth of this business and of this culture. If I was to choose one single thing to say about SHOT 2023, it's that the show is trouble. There's a lot of fear of new upcoming laws, unjust laws, unconstitutional laws, but those things affect the way we live, the way we recreate, and a lot of people on the floor of the show. So I'm Michael Bain. This is Triggered. You can find us, of course, on YouTube. You can find us on Rumble. You can always find us on michaelbain.tv where we will have the latest information of everything going on in this really wonderful world. And hey, maybe next year, I'll take all of you.